Over the last year, Realme has released one great smartphone after another, but all of them pale in comparison to the company's latest release, the Realme X. In terms of hardware specifications, it's undoubtedly one of the best mid-range devices in the market today, but it does have its fair share of shortcomings, especially on the software front. However, you can easily overcome these with a couple of cool third-party apps. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from GT and in this video, we will be taking a look at 9 useful apps for the Realme X that will help you make the most out of your new phone. So let's get right to it, shall we? Kicking things off is a couple of apps that I always recommend for any Android device. Snapseed and SMS Organizer. If you've watched any of our app recommendation videos before, you will know that we here at Guiding Tech just love these two apps. And if you haven't tried them already, then now is the time. Snapseed is one of the most powerful photo editing apps that you can get for your phone, which will help you make all your photos Instagram ready. The app packs in a ton of great tools that give you granular controls over how your image turns out, something that you won't find in the stock image editor on the Realme X. On the other hand, SMS Organizer is a feature-packed SMS client that will automatically categorize all your incoming messages into folders, making it easier for you to keep a track of important messages while completely avoiding all unnecessary spam. Compared to the stock messaging app on the phone, SMS Organizer is in a league of its own. You should try it out and see for yourself. Now, this is great for Realme X, uh, but if you are outside India and Realme X is available, in your country, then this app uh, won't work for your phone because it is not available outside India. You will probably have to check out similar apps like Textra that offer similar features. Next up, let's take a look at some personalization apps that will help you customize the look and feel of your new phone. First, there is Walloop, a great wallpaper app that offers an amazing collection of static and live wallpapers for all types of displays and resolutions. All the wallpapers are conveniently categorized according to the content resolution and type of display, so you can easily find one that will look good on your phone. Now, if you are not a huge fan of the Color OS interface, you need to get a launcher app to change things up a bit. While there are a ton of great options on the Play Store, the rootless launcher is one of my personal favorites. With the app, you can give your phone a clean and minimal stock Android look with a handy persistent search bar at the bottom and wallpaper-based theme selection. It also includes support for third-party icon packs, adaptive icons, and even a Google Now feed to the left of the homepage. However, to enable that, you will first need to download the rootless Pixel APK bridge from the link in the description and then enable display Google app in the launcher settings. Next up, we have Bottom Quick Settings, an app that's perfect for those of you who find it difficult to reach all the way up to the top of the display to pull down the notification shade. As the name suggests, the app brings down the notification shade and quick settings panel down to the bottom of the display, which is much easier to reach with a single hand. The app also gives the panel a stock Android look, which goes really well with the rootless launcher interface. Now, a couple of stock apps on the Realme X, like the media players and the browser, aren't really all that great, so you will definitely need replacements for those. For all your browsing needs, I'd recommend that you give the Oh Browser a shot. It's a pretty capable browser app that has been designed specifically for one-handed use. All of the browser's UI elements are located close to the bottom of the display, allowing you to easily access them with just your thumb. And even when you visit a website that has all of its buttons on the top, you can just tap on this hand icon to bring them down automatically. Isn't that great? If you still listen to offline music on your phone, then you must check out the Boom Music Player, which offers a few really cool features, including a 3D surround sound technology that can make your music sound a whole lot more immersive. And in case you still want to stream music, the app is also compatible with popular streaming services like Spotify and Tidal. So you can just link your account and stream away without downloading a separate app for the purpose. Now, if you're someone who watches a whole lot of movies or TV shows on your phone, well, who doesn't, then you should get VLC, which is undoubtedly one of the best video players out there. Much like the desktop version, VLC on Android includes support for a vast majority of file formats along with a couple of other cool features like aspect ratio adjustments, gesture controls. But the best part is that it's completely free to use with absolutely no ads or in-app purchases required. 
pretty cool right rounding off the list is kind master a powerful video editing app for those of you who want to film and edit high quality videos right on your phone with kind master you get a feature packed video editor complete with multiplayer support an interface which will remind you of a full blown desktop editor and pretty much everything you will need to edit videos for any platform it's definitely worth checking out a few post videos on instagram or youtube i'm sure you won't regret it well that's it for today's video you'll find the link to all these apps in the description down below but before you head down there make sure to like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to gt for more amazing app recommendations and if you have those recommendations for us do drop them in the comments below we always check our comments and we are always happy that you take the time out to comment so do that and those abhijit signing off i'll see you guys in the next one hey.